What up, people, viewers and subscribers? You're welcome back again on this platform where I will tell you the gospel truth. And this truth, eh? If you are not religious inclined, you can just skip. Make we address ourselves. You know, my people are very religious people, especially from the Christian fold. I came across a video. I came across a video, my people. We are a prophet. Now, do another prophet, Vam Vam Vam. The false prophets are rich because people empower them. So, someone can tell you that Indaboski is power, Lefase Fare is power, and then after I mention it, people will clap. What God is doing with the prophetic house is that it's causing a distinction. So that by who you submit to, we can now know where your treasure is. If you can sit down, and you hear gangadus, gandus, and all those stuff, and you never heard of the Holy Ghost or the Bible, and you can still clap, it means you never knew Jesus. Out of all those listings, where was Jesus' name? Where was the Bible, his power? We didn't find the Holy Ghost, his power. But we find Lefase Farer. That's why he's entering with Undertaker song, and you are there. Oyenamo, you are a criminal. <laughs> Satan has made you and your prophet twice as much sons of Belia. Hey, me could not talk say I be talk about, but as soon as as we all know and believe that touch not to my anointed and do my prophet no harm. As far as I'm concerned, I am not touching any prophet. It is non prophet touching prophet. And I believe from what the Bible said that any kingdom that rises against itself must fall. In a country like Nigeria, where you have charlatans as political leaders using religion, especially the Islamic religion, as a weapon of mass destruction, it is in the same country the Christian counterparts are fighting themselves. Why won't this country be overrun by the Islamic crusaders you have in government? Why won't they? When they are busy fighting themselves, this time is no longer don't touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. You are not able to get the man now. You get the man on the end that you in the also, you know, and that is a cause for concern. Some of you will say, How does that concern good governance? Mm -hmm. Wait for it. Wait for it, my people. Because you know, my people, they are too religious. They are very religious people. But I can tell you that with what is happening, coming down from the north, and the way Erufai put it, you think it's a joke. Wait for it. When these men who are your religious leaders are busy on themselves no neck, the people who are planning to overrun you are carrying their project to letter. So it's up to you. My, my fear, my fear, my concern is my homeland. It's my homeland. I just came across this video and said, let me hear your opinion. Let me get your opinion on this. Do you feel worried about what is going on when the Christendom is rising against itself? Or is this man actually saying the truth about some hooligans masquerading as pastors, religious leaders in the Christian food and the rest of them? Well, I want to have it on the comment section. What do you think about what this man said? You agree with him? Or should they find a way to, you know, bond more for the salvation of their ships? I'm only a voice, an advocate for good governance. I'm bringing you this video to have your thought and your opinion. I'm signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comment. Let me have your opinion. Bye-bye.